taking on Dash Harris Moore out of Legion and the same Jim Austin's out of 2-0. That's going to be a fight we're seeing, but another one I'm really excited about is Fight Squad's Vicente Flores. Me too, me too. 4-3, and three, taking on tough Hayden Prim from Pira Vida, who fought for me, fought for me once at Mystic Lake and was, a, was just a warrior. That's a heck of a gym to come from, you know, Pura De Vida. Yeah. And then the Fight Squad, they always come to have fun. You yeah. know what I mean? They always come to bang, and uh, they're not scared. That's the thing I like about them. No, they're, they're pretty much identical guys, Dan. The only thing you need to know is their weight class. They're right. the same person every time. You no, know it is. It's like, oh, it's Juan, Sam, Flores, um, Colin Ruby, even, who had the knockout of the night for us last oh, show. Oh, for sure. Little pop here for Vicente. Quiet night for us here at uh, Ignite, but... Uh, the storm didn't do us any favors tonight, but uh, we still appreciate the fans that came right. out and everyone tuning in on the pay-per-view. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the first bout of the evening is brought to you by MMAFutures.com. It is taking place at 125 pounds for three rounds. Introducing first out of a blue corner, a fighter uh, of MMA style with one fight and at 23 years of age, Standing at five foot nine, weighing in at 120.4 pounds, representing Legion Fighting Alliance, fighting out of Michigan, Austin Whitman! Let's go! Let's go! And his opponent out of the red corner, a freestyle fighter with one win, one loss. At 24 years of age, standing at five feet seven inches. Weighing in at 125.4 pounds, representing Nordic Warriors Boxing Academy from Chicago, Illinois, Vincente El Azteca Rivera! And your referee for the action is Joe Fitt. And the beautiful Juan Cha shows us what round it is. We, here we go. First M MMA round of the night. Both guys look cool and they calm. Look ready. Now I'm curious what Whitman's plan will be. You know he's got the length, Dan, but uh, Sente, as we know, has the hands and the oh, power, and it's, it's it's standing with them might be dangerous. I think so. I guess that's his plan. Hands up, Austin! Hands up! Breathe, nice breathe, kick by Rivera. Breathe. Both guys a little wild oh, early on. Oh, what happened? Was it an eye poke? to the head. Hopefully we can see the replay here. Um, I couldn't tell what that was, a knee to the head or a... I thought it was a knee to the head. Or an eye poke. He bleeding? Yeah, he looks like he's bleeding. Here we go. Yeah, and it looks like the knee just got a little high, Dan, as his head came down. I don't yep. think it was dirty. Maybe he didn't realize he couldn't throw it. Definitely hurt him though. He's got five yeah. minutes here, but I don't know that he's going to be able to recover in that five minutes. Here we go again. Here's the angle. It was a really weird. Slowed down. And they thank you, Nathan Rogers. Yeah, it still is hard to see, but. I couldn't tell. The fact it's bleeding, it had to be a knee almost. Um, yeah, that's pretty bad. Bad luck for. Um, Vicente doesn't get a chance to really right. perform tonight. Looks like Doc Stringer's in the in the in the cage right now. I'm taking a look here. Oh, it's his lip. Okay, or his nose. I can't tell. I think it's Noel and his eye. I don't know. I think he might be fine. I don't know. His leg and his just his body movement doesn't seem to me like it's 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 good. So hard to tell what happened here, Dan. I think that just see. Yeah, that, that look at the look like it went to the body. No, there it is. Met up at the face. Mm. And that would be an illegal knee because this is an amateur fight, Dan. Right. Obviously, um, if it's called deem that. Be no 
contest. Yep. I waved it off. Nothing you can really do, Dan. No. Things happen so fast in uh, the sport. And uh, no, knees of the body are allowed in Minnesota, but they're not allowed to the head. No. Um, I don't know that that was a um, – I don't think uh, that was intentional. Uh, not at all. It was, it was the heat of the action. Right. Vincenzo's head came down far. Um, awesome. Both guys left to, you know, be ready to fight another night. Right. You know, they're starting early. And they're starting uh, fast-paced. I think uh, – you know, situations like this might occur. And, yeah. Uh, it's unfortunate, but he looks okay. Well, Dan, your first uh, broadcast was an interesting one. <laughs> yes, in, in and out yes, quick. For sure. <laughs> so Vicente is all right. Um, so hard to tell. Nathan gives us some great, Nathan Rogers here at MMA Futures giving us great angles and shots of this, and it's still hard to see. Mm -hmm. Might be pulling the head down. I don't know. His legs are still wobbly, Dan. I think yeah. that, uh, you know, there's so much can be done here. Um, oh, for sure. Ladies and gentlemen, at the advice of Dr. Gene Stringer, referee Joe Phipp has called a halt to the action. Due to an illegal knee, your winner by disqualification is Vincente Rivera.